thank you so much for joining me today for this demo of Clone This User version 1.9 for Spring 2020. We are going to review our two big feature release items for this release. And uh, for more details about Clone This User, you can visit us on the App Exchange or you can check out our YouTube channel for more demos. For Clone This User version 1.9 Spring 2020, our two feature release items are that now we can clone custom fields and we can also clone a large number of permission sets. So we're going to demo that today and we're going to start by looking at a user record. We can see our custom fields in the lower left hand corner for this Rodrigo test user. We have a ton of custom fields down here in the bottom left hand corner. And we can also see that Rodrigo test has a ton of permission sets as well. So he has about 24, so we're going to see if we can clone uh, Rodrigo test this user uh, with his custom fields as well as permission sets. So we're going to hop on over to our clone this user page component and we're going to search for Rodrigo um, test user. And then we're going to click on him and we're going to enter the information for our new user. Um, so let's call this new user Michael test and we can enter their email. Um, and you'll see that the username, alias, and nickname all populate for you. But new, um, you'll be able to see starting here all of your custom fields. So we do have a text field here. We have a time, number, percent, all sorts of fields that you could clone. Um, if you had them on your user records, they would be available here and you can adjust them or keep them as they are. So let's say, for example, maybe we want to change this um, to something new. That's the text that we needed to have in this field. So we can do that at this stage and it will save it for us. So let's say that we've reviewed our new user, Michael, who's being cloned from Rodrigo, and we're good to go there. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom. Um, same steps in this process here. We can generate a new password and notify the user immediately. I'm gonna uncheck it since it's a demo. But otherwise I would keep it checked. And then we have our advanced options where we can make sure that permission set assignments are cloned queue membership, public group membership, and permission set license assignments are cloned. So I'm going to keep those checked for this demo. And then you quickly, simply click save and uh, you're all set. Next, what we're going to see is our success screen. Say that Michael test has been created, cloned from Rodrigo. We did not generate a password in this demo. And then we can also see our clone fields just by um, expanding that section there. And we can see our advanced options, those checkboxes, um, we can expand that and see those there. So let's hop on over to the back end and check out this new user. So we can see those cloned fields and see the permission sets. So here we are at Michael Test. We can scroll down and see all those great custom fields came over. We can see that something new saved, so that's great. And then we can also check out our permission set assignments and see that. So it looks like all of those came over, all 24. We're all set with Michael Test. And those are the big two fe big feature release items for Clone This User version 1.9 for spring 2020. You can find Clone This User on the App Exchange, or you can visit our YouTube channel for more demos. Thanks again for joining.